Summer may seem far away, but now's the time to plan. Check out the PressBox Summer Camp Guide at PressBoxOnline.com and in this month's print edition of PressBox, review local camp listings sorted by sport and find the one that's right for your kids. Welcome back to Inside Press Box, sponsored by Maryland Mutual Mortgage. Back with us now is Andrew Primrose, all the way to my right, Director of Operations for the Ed Block Courage Award, along with this gentleman, right to my right, Larry Harris, Senior Editorial Advisor for Press Box. And Andrew, we have him on, not a surprise to him, he knows, but why don't you tell us what he's receiving on March the 8th and why? Absolutely. Uh, he will, Mr. Harris will be inducted as the 14th member of the Baltimore, Maryland Sports Media Hall of Fame. Uh, great honor for him and, and not only for his work uh, in the Baltimore sports media covering the Colts for the Sun for all those years, but also for his role in uh, helping to inspire the Ed Block Courage Ward Foundation, really the man responsible for the reason that the foundation is named after Ed Block, working with Sam Lamantia, who we've talked about earlier, a sure. founder and CEO. Uh, Mr. Harris and Sam working together, kind of looking to identify the person that they want to honor. And Mr. Harris was the reason that they settled on Ed Block. It's a great honor, Larry. Well-deserved. Only 13 other members in the Maryland Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame. How's it feel? Well, it's always an honor to be uh, connected with the names that are already on that list, Dan. Uh, you talk about people like Vince Bagley, Chuck Thompson, John Stedman, John Stedman, Norman Clark, Cameron Snyder. Uh, you know, that's a pretty good group. It's richly deserved. Andrew told us the story off the air. You, of course, knew the story. Apparently, there was some discussion back when this thing was starting, this organization, 33 years ago, of naming it after Johnny Unitas. Well, you could have taken uh, a whole lot of people back then and named any uh, honorary function after them. You had all those Hall of Famers on one team. You had the great Jim Parker, the great Lenny Moore, the great Raymond Berry, uh, the great John Unitas. <laughs> the list went on and on and on. Uh, any of them would have been a worthy candidate. Uh, I came up with the idea of Ed Block because of the a uh, great amount of work he did in uh, this uh, city uh, for crippled children and his background as a World War II hero and uh, also his work with the first group of the U.S. astronauts. Larry Harris, this year's honoree, and Andrew, as we talked about it, the reason we wanted to do this was not to give him the award tonight. He's going to receive that honor on March the 8th but to share it with a larger audience, absolutely. and we'll see it on March the 8th. Yeah, absolutely. The thousand people in attendance at the Ed Block Courage Awards and, you know, the people that we reach, it really is not fair when you look at the scope of, of what Mr. Harris accomplished throughout his career, and it's something that, you know, provided this venue, we wanted to share that with, uh, with the Baltimore community, with all the great things that Mr. Harris has done and, and the honor that we're bestowing upon him. Larry, before we go, uh, we got about 45 seconds. How would Ed feel about what the Ed Block Courage Awards have become? I think he would be a little overwhelmed, Stan. Uh, Ed was uh, not a person to uh, toot his own horn. Uh, he enjoyed going one-on-one -one -on -one with uh, the players and the people he treated and helped. Uh, but he'd be very honored and humbled by how many people it has helped. I'm sure he would. All right. Larry, again, congratulations. Well-deserved honor. Thank you. Investors United, School of Real Estate Investing. Earn while you learn. Go to InvestorsUnited.com now for details.